okay we will solve a question on DC generators today so this is a gen question regarding the generators operating in parallel DC generators operating in parallel so there are certain conditions which have to be fulfilled to operate DC generators in parallel I'll tell about those conditions at the end so the question says that two generators are operating in parallel but it does not mention the type of DC generator so uh, we will assume these as series generators because nothing is mentioned about the shunt resistance or the shunt current so assuming these two are series generators let's draw the scenario first we will draw individual generators and write the uh, equations for them so first generator is like like uh, this this is the armature okay so it is number one so let's say it is generating ef1 this is ra1 and the output current is i l1 and the terminal voltage is v1 so it is given ef1 that is voltage generated on load is 270 volt and terminal voltage when on load is 220 volt and the current is i l1 is equal to 35 ampere okay so let's say the second generator is like this same way it is the terminal voltage v2 ef2 would be its internal generated voltage ra2 would be its armature resistance so il2 would be its load current so it would be like this no load voltage given is 280 volt and terminal voltage given is 220 volt at il2 is equal to 50 ampere so also let's write the uh, general equation of the generator which is ef is equal to ef is equal to v plus i a r a applying ohms sorry applying kvl in this we will get this so for generator one it would be ef1 is equal to v1 plus i l1 r a1 and for generator two it would be ef2 is equal to v2 plus i l2 r a2 so from these equation 1 and 2 putting all these values we will get we will get what ra1 and ra2 armature resistances we will obtain from these equations 1 and 2 after that it is saying that the common load on these two generators when they are operating in parallel is 60 ampere so let's draw this scenario let's say this is generator 1 okay and so let's assume this is a bus bar bus bar and we will connect second generator on this bus bar like this okay so this bus bar voltage would be common for both the generators and suppose generator 1 is contributing I1 to this bus bar and it is contributing I2. So it is given that the total load that is I L is 60 ampere when these are operating in parallel. So as the generators are in parallel voltage would be common so v bus will be common which, which we have to find out and the currents will, will add up so il would be i1 plus i2 
let's say this is equation 2 also as we know if we modify this if we modify this equation it would become v is equal to ef minus i a r a so let's say this is equation a so from equation a we can write individual equations for this scenario because the v bus is common so we can say it as v bus is equal to ef1 minus i1 ra1 this would be equation number 4 also v bus would be ef2 minus i2 r a2 this would be equation number 5 okay also as therefore equating equation number 4 and 5 we will get ef1 minus i1 ra1 is equal to ef2 minus i2 ra2 so from this we will get a relation between i1 and i2 and we already have a relation of i1 and i2 so we will get two equations for unknowns i1 and i2 and from there we can calculate i1 and i2 so let's solve equation number one first to calculate ra1 so the f1 is 270 is equal to v1 is 220 plus i f1 is 55 into ra1 so we would get ra1 is equal to 270 minus 220 divided by 35 so ra1 would be 1.43 ohms similarly from equation number 2 we will get ef2 is equal to 280 minus 220 divided by 50 is equal to ra2 which we would get which we would get as 1.2 ohms so now equating these ra1 and ra2 in in this relation let's say this is 1 2 3 6 so equating it as in relation 6 ef1 is 270 minus i1 into ra1 1.43 is equal to ef2 is 280 minus i2 into ra2 so we would get 280 minus 270 is equal to 1.2 i2 minus 1.43 i1 so it would be 1.2 i2 minus 1.43 i1 is equal to 10 equation number 7 so solving 3 and 7 we would get i1 and i2 multiply this equation by 1.2 we would get 1.2 i2 plus 1.2 i1 is equal to 60 into 1.2 Therefore, V bus from equation 4 would be EF1 minus I1 RA1. Putting the values, we would get 270 minus I23.57 into RA1 is 1.43. Solving this, we would get V bus as 236.29 volt. So, this is the required answer also we have to calculate the power output of each generator so it will be p1 is equal to v bus into i1 and p2 will 
equal to v bus into i2 which would come out as 236.29 into i1 as 23.57 it would come out as 236.29 into i2 is 36.60 kilowatt and p1 is 5.56 kilowatt thanks for watching like if you like it and uh, let me know if you know if you want further videos on such topics